Thank you for coming to my session today. Uh, let's enjoy today our Python Web Conference without worrying about coronavirus. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my presentation. My name is Kenji Kanobe. I'm a software engineer at Japan System Laboratory in Japan. Um, recently, I am studying data science and Python, Django, UJS, Firebase. My language to be explained this time was developed during the study. Next, I explain about my company. What is Japan System Laboratory? Uh, I call my company JSL, and JSL is an IT company located in Nagano Prefecture in Japan. My company provides a free community space called Geek Lab, and Nagano is a very nice place surrounded by nature. So if you come to Nagano, please come to Geek Lab in my company. So now that my self-introduction is over, I talk about Line, LineBot. So Line is a messenger application released by Line, by Line Corporation. Almost all Japanese use Line. So I think it is like uh, WhatsApp. So next I explain the overview of my LineBot. So my LineBot predict if your bike will be stolen and predict by accept by using open data with some people in Nagano and using user data from line. So the line bot uses safety score to predict by accept. So safety score is also a keyword of my of this presentation. I will explain that the that's the iterator. So by using that, by using this line bot, you can now in advance if the press is safe or danger. If line bot predicts that the press is danger, stop parking your bike and if safe, you can park without worrying about your bike. So this will help you avoid the consequences of your bike theft. So next, I will explain how to use bot while playing the video. So first, register this bot as a brand and, um, and then submit your age and your occupation. Your age and next, your occupation. So it can't be sent very easily because it does not use a keyboard. Next, if you want to know safety score of your bike, please calculate button. So after that, it sends the lock, lock status and the location data. And this will calculate the safety score immediately. So next, I explain the configuration diagram of my system. So this is of my, this is, it, this is configuration diagram of my system. So I developed Django on Help database uses Postgre SQL and line messaging, line messaging API is used for message in line. This API is released by line corporation it enables two ways communication between system and line users. It has push message and response message. Push message is that system send message to users and reply message is that user send message to system and system replies message to user. So my system uses reply message and uh, return to explanation of configuration diagram. Okay, first, so Django view gets user, get user data with using that message API. And the user data is stored in database by model. So then when ordered, it ordered to calculate safety score, 
used to use dot pi calculate it from user data and open data with store people for predict safe by So then send the calculated safety score to use by messaging API. So but what is safety score? So next I explain detail of safety score. The safety score is degree of similarity storm people and a user. High safety Safety score indicated that user data is not similar to the features of storm people. It means safe. On the other hand, low safety score indicated that user data is similar to the feature of storm people. It means danger. So this time to calculate safety score, I use Mahanobis distance. It can be calculated from the mean vector of data set and variance called covariance of data set. It is a number that indicates how far a point is from the data set. So replace a point with a user and replace data set with open data with store people. So therefore, indicating how far a user is from open data is indicating how similar are user data and uh, store people. From this result, I use Mahalabish distance safety score. So let's take a closer look. Let's take a closer look at the detail of the open data to use a calculate of safety score. So this is the open data with store people so published on the website of Nagano Prefecture. There are 1,496 cases of white theft in, in 2018. The open data has separate columns, for example, the minus bar code and location, date, Poker time and age, occupation of some people, and log status. This time, we use the columns to calculate safety score, uh, Oka age, and Oka time, storm people age, occupation, and log the status of bike. Then, I use the Oka location. Next, doing it is a bit annoying because I must I must this time um, this count is not only numerical data. Have character data. Oh my god, there is only Japanese word in occupy in occupation calm. So I forgot that I am Japanese. It can't be used for calculation as is. So let's digitize for calculating safety score. I use Jupyter notebook, Jupyter notebook to digitize this open data. At first, read open data uh, comes not used this time uh, in the way. So date them. And it is difficult to program if comes name remain Japanese. So replace them with English, it becomes a little easier to see. So next digitize is lock column. So check the category values in the column. This means logged. On the other hand, this means not logged. So replace logged with one and not logged with zero. The result is this, age and occupation come in the same way digitized. So this is code in concrete term. Check the category, replace category and digitize. So 
So about Oka date time about Oka date and time explain. Only month data are uh, extracted from Oka data and then uh, digitized. And Oka time only convert to a number. About location data explain. So I added latitude and longitude column by using CSV geocoding service that convert address data column to latitude and longitude. Here is the digitized result. No character, no Japanese word, it's clearer than before. So my system uses that open data has been digitized in advance. So next I explain how to code for calculating safety score. As, as I said earlier, I use Mahanobis distance. At first, prepare mean vector. The mean vector is calculated including the user data. So add the user data at to the at the end of the open data. By the way, this is, this user data is arbitrary value. In in a real system, that is the values obtained from line or stored in the DB. And next, create con constant for columns and rows. Then cal calculate the average value of for each column using a for loop. Mean vector has been calculated. So next, I calculate variance, covariance of data set. To calculate that value, first, Create a vector of user data minus mean vector. Then assign that value to variable diff. And transpose that vector. If you, you, if you use num files for paxis, you can calculate transpose vector in one, in one line. So then, Multiply, multiply those values and divide it by number of loads. So this is print result. So now, now that variance covariance has been calculated, so next calculate Mahalovic distance. First, calculate the inverse matrix of various covariance. Then multiply that inverse matrix and the vector of user data minus mean vector. Assign, the, assign this value of variable val. And next, multiply that variable and transpose that, that vector. So finally, the Mahanobis distance is calculated by taking the square root of this value. So the Mahanobis value this time is 8.79. So this time the user data set arbitrary is that over time is 20 p.m. So month is December, age is 20s, occupation is four, so it means working a dodge. So logged status is one, it means logged, and et cetera. So as an experiment, I set the age only to 30 and calculate the score. The score increase a little. So set the age only to 60 the score in increase considerable. So since this result, I create a graph to 
observe the change in the safety score by Mahan based distance. This graph shows safety score by Mahan base for 1496 stone people in open data. So looking at the feature of people with low safety score uh, scores, I found that they are a lot of teens and twenties. Uh, then so them time uh so them time are a lot a uh, lot of seven AM and eight AM and the day is Friday. So on the other hand, so looking at the safety score, looking at the features of people with high safety score, I found that there are a lot of sixties and seventeens. So the relation between bike safety and this feature is re really light. So I check the open data I use this time. But it is difficult to find the features if they are in the table as it is. So I visualize them so that features can be easily, easily searched. So yes, I, I created some graphs. So this time I will explain features and trends found, found from these two graphs. So first this graph. So this graph shows number of stone people by age occupation. From this from this graph, I found that the number of teens and twenties who are stone back is over two thirds of the whole. On the other hand, number of sixteens and seventeens who are stone back is very small. Next, I explain the graph in the lower light. So it is a graph called heat map. This graph shows number of stone people by time and under the day. The vertical axis is time and the horizontal axis is day. Difficult area means a high number of theft. The point surrounded by red circle is deep card. So check the time and the day. Time is the point uh, 7 a.m. and 8 a.m. and 18 p.m. They're, they're commuting awards in Japan. And 18 p.m. is go home hours. So next, please look at the day. The day in the point is May Friday. As a result of looking the, looking the graph, I found that stone people had several features. Most of, most of stone people are teens and twenties and sixties and seventies, but it's difficult to be stolen. Commuting hours go home hours many Friday. The feature that safety score by Mahanobis distance has judged danger is almost much the feature that open data describe as danger. So that I use safety score by Mahanobis distance for predicted by theft. So finally, conclusion. So there are several features of people store bike. My line both used open data with store people and can predict bike theft. In open data with store people, many younger uh, store bike. I, I guess that younger people buy more high performance bike. So that to improve the accuracy of safety score, the open data open data should have data about bike. So that brings me to the end. Oh, I forgot to tell you, code 
of my line bot is of course open. Anyone can view my code, anyone can use it, please try using it. So if you have any more, more questions, please feel free to contact me on SNS, of course. So that brings me to the end of my presentation. I hope you have enjoyed. Thank you for your attention.